we start on the opposite sides of the stage. What's the best way to approach? Because I also practice the uh, the crowd, um, dash cancel thing. The yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's um? Yeah, there you go. How do you usually throw out the electric in the middle of you know like doing that? Um. So what you have to do is you have to crouch dash, right? So first you crouch dash. Uh, you let go of both of your sticks. And then it, you immediately input electric after you let go of both of your sticks. So basically, it's just electric, let go of both of your sticks. Or uh, it's crash dash, let go of both of your sticks, and then electric. Uh, and then but you, the electric, I'm assuming it's buffered, right? Do you buffer the, uh... Uh, yeah, you can... You, well, it, it doesn't even have to be buffered. It's more of like, uh, just, just crash dash, and then electric. Think about it like this. Do it, here, do it real slow with me. Go on the other side. In fact, you can go on the, you can go on the left side. It'll be easier for you, right? Oh, all right. Sorry, so crash dash, just once. All right, and oh, then okay. right after that, just go for an electric. So crash dash, take your time, and then just go for electric. Don't do it fast, just do it real slow. So crash dash once, electric. All right, so that's exactly what it is. And that's the thing that you, Riddles uses to close gaps. Uh, that's the, the thing uh, that- crash Riddle, dash, right? Yeah, he crouch dashes prior, and then he electrics. Or he, he might do twice, he might do two sometimes, like this. Or like a third one. Right, so oh. that is that is that is his gap closer because you were invincible as you're getting close, and then you're invincible out of the crouch dash, and then you're invincible when you're throwing out the electric. Uh, so it's like a really good approach option and a really good way to get in close, uh, you know, because you're invincible half the time. You feel me? Yeah. Um, is that also how you deal with like characters that want to stay away from you? You know what I mean? Yes, like, yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's one way to do. Now, when Palutena goes for like neutral beat, you, you hit her with this every single time. It's it's true. So. What you do is like once once you see the auto reticle, uh, you can just jump like this, and the auto reticle will go underneath you, and you can punish her for using it with this. Uh, so like that's oh. that's that's one way to deal with those campers is using those those uh, those lasers. Uh, very very useful. Uh, not really against Samus, just because Samus can ca catch up, or uh, definitely don't use it against fast characters like uh, you know Captain Falcon because that's just going to be useless because they'll just run underneath you. So, uh, against any class character, no laser. Against slow characters that are just trying to camp, 100% laser. Um, against like Min Min, you can laser. Uh, not when you're off the stage, because they'll just up smash and kill you for it. Uh, but other than that, on, on the stage, uh, that's the only time you really want to do it if they're putting yourself in like a lagging scenario where you can actually get it out with like a punish you for the Yeah, um, a character like Sam would be like the best. Because um, I'm only asking because, uh, what was it? I usually make arenas, right? And I'll try to practice like Kazuya more than. Yeah. And most of the time, I'll get, uh, I'll end up bursting like a. Extremely campy Samus that will just, you know, um, like camp me out the whole time or charge shot me from across the, uh, the map and stuff, and I don't really know that, or yeah. do like the other guys, I don't really know how to, uh, uh, counter something like that, right? Alright, so first and foremost, when you get into a match with the Samus, the first, literally the first move you throw out is it'll reflect, right? Because you want to get it into their brain that you are going to start reflecting, okay? And that's the first thing that you want them to do because if you have if you have the thought out that you are going to reflect their stuff, they are going to be scared to use it, right? Uh, because missile can kill them, neutral beat can kill them, uh, even a reflected down beat can kill them. So um, the second that you get into a match, literally just throw it out, and just 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 to show that if you're willing to use that move uh, and that you you have it in your arsenal, right? Um, that that's going to apply like this mental to them, where like you know there's always a chance that they use this move. Um, yeah, okay. And another thing. When you land the electric, right, what's the next thing that you wanna okay, watch off of? What's okay. the next thing that you wanna do? Is it is it a... Okay, like, from right here, from right here at zero percent, this is what you wanna do. You want to go underneath him like this. And you want to crowd uh sorry, let me electrocute. Uh, um, and then go into another electric. So you crouch jab them at zero. This is only at zero. You crouch jab them as they're falling. And then you electric them again. And then, then you go into drag down there, electric, drag down there, electric, uh, tsunami, uh, stature, tsunami, down smash. You feel me? Okay. At what percent is the fastball near true? Or is okay. it true the whole time? It is true the entire time. Now, it doesn't seem like it'd be true at zero. But uh, that's actually true if you do it fast enough and you do it well enough. Uh, but like right now, that's true. Uh, yeah, it is true the entire time. Uh, but it's it, it's harder to execute when they're at low percents. Now, 
once they get up to 70 uh, from lightweights, like uh, let's say Fox, if you electric them at 50, and then you hit them with a Nair after you electric them at like 63, they'll go into the ground, right? But if you hit them at 55 with an electric, they get up to 70, and then you hit them with a Nair, they're gonna bounce off the ground, okay? So you you want to get that sweet spot where you, you hit them with that drag down there that they don't bounce, so that you can get the Demon Godfist follow up or you can get the Statue Smash follow up. So you follow it up with this or you follow it up with this, and then you get this. Now if if they do bounce, yeah, after you drag down there, uh, from 50 to 70. 50 to 70. 50 to 70. Heavies from 60 to 80. Uh, and lightweights from 40 to 60. So it's all that little that little twenty percent range where you want to get that drag down. Um, yeah, what was I gonna say? Uh, but yeah, but um, and then you can go you can go into combo routes like this. Uh, this this might be this might seem weird, but you can go like stuff like this. This is a really good option that, that I choose a that, lot. That move right that move right there that you just did. How do you execute that one? Because I know the one where you do a forward up. Right? That's the... I don't know if that's like the... prolonged version, or... How do you do that one? The one that you just did? Um, yeah, uh, here, I'll show you real quick. It's, it's the same okay. input as Dragon Uppercut, but you just press B. Or same input as Electric, but you just press B. Just like it is in Tekken. Uh, yeah, you just have to crash fast first, and then you press B, basically. So if you crash dash, and then immediately press B out of your crash dash in the middle of it, you'll get this move every time. Oh, wow, I had no idea. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that's it's that it's that simple. Um, and if you don't really want to like focus on the crash dash in front of it, you can just go forward, down, forward, B. But the crash dash in front, but the crash dash in front of it, if you do it in the middle of the crash dash, you keep that invincibility while you're starting it up. Because uh, this is a very light start. Oh, I, yeah. Right. That is crazy. The whole time, I I thought I thought it was this one right here. Uh, no, no, no. This is this is the bad one. Don't ever use it. Well, except in very specific scenarios. Like this can right. go over, this can go over like my card stuff like that. Like this move. That one is what. Um... Oh wait, my bad. Yeah. That's yeah, that's that's okay. the first hit. Uh, that'll go over stuff. And the leg underneath is invincible. So you basically like it's like better than sword down smash. Okay, so uh, this like one a right you... the hit itself. Right. This one right here you said is best to throw out when? Uh, you can throw it out here. Let me put you in the situation. Like right here, oh. sometimes. If you get a drag down there, right here. Um, here, actually, go, come a little further. So you can put them off the stage, you can hit them with a laser, and then you can edge guard them like this. Just like that. And then you can kill them. And then, uh, with, with, with the diamond. Right. When you're on late, you have to jump first, right? If you're gonna do the, the yep, you have to jump down there. Yeah, you have to jump once. Oh. Um, and you can jump far out too. You can jump really far out like this, or even further. Oh. Out. But um, I I auto throw that, so it kind of fucks me over. But you go to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, up there, there. Oh yeah, up there. Upper will kill probably around 160 on. Actually, no, nah, probably around 170 on heavies. Uh, upper can kill a lot earlier on, on my base. Like right here, I'll use that move. I'll get him off the stage. I'll go for a fair or something, and then I'll just right. I'll just keep blood trapping. <laughs> Is it always uh, best to drop the electric after a uh, crouch death? Uh, no, it's not always best. Wait, what'd you say? Yeah, yeah, is it always best to throw the, the electric after crouch death? Or... Uh, no, like, you see what I did just right there? So the reason why this is good right here, um, is because you can uh, engage like that. You can engage like this. Uh, if you see them, you can run at them. And you can throw out multiple moves, right? So instead of just throwing out the one move that you know you're relying on to hit, you can throw out a couple of this. So if they shield, go ahead and shield for me. You can you can lower their shield a lot. And if they try to do something in between them, they'll get hit by the shield. They'll, they'll get hit. Now go ahead and shield one more time for me. That was what um. That was tombstone. That's forward. Oh, okay. Yep. 
Very good kill move as well. And come here real quick. Come on, Lich. Uh, okay, actually, let me let me finish our questions, and then uh, uh, once you're done asking questions, I'm gonna freestyle a little bit and uh, show you some more stuff. Okay. Okay. So just let me know. Um, let me know. But we'll, we're gonna play one more game after this, just so I can see a little bit more, and then uh, okay. I'll I'll go over some stuff. Some stuff. I was gonna say, uh, the the uh, downhill or the um, crouch, you know the um, how do you know? the crouch part. Do you usually get it after the uh, like do you just hold down and then just throw it out, just have it? Oh yeah, yep. Just I you just hold down the entire time and just spam it. Oh, okay, and that's after you do the, the crouch dash, right? After, out of the crouch dash. Uh yeah, and there's ways to cancel the crouch dash so you can go into it immediately. I can show you, you to do that. I, I can show you to do yeah. that if you want. But I think we should focus on some uh, some less traffic and stuff first, just because okay. that's a, that's a little bit more like in, in the advanced neutral part of of his stage. You feel me? Yeah. Like right there, I'll use that. Get him really far down there. Hit him with a laser. And then boom, they're dead. You know. And at that point, they get really okay. Yeah. Like you were only at forty when I hit you, and then you got up to hundred. You can also use up your dash grab like that. Uh, but real quick, we'll get into a game and then we're gonna focus on some uh, ledge traffic stuff. Cause I was on ledge right there, and uh, there's a lot of things you can do once I'm on ledge. You can you can ledge trap really really well. His hitboxes are not bad uh, for ledge trapping. A lot of people say they are, but they they really really are if you understand how to ledge trap properly and like what to do for each scenario. So let me go over some of okay. that stuff real quick. Three, two. You want me to get on ledge? Go! Uh, go ahead, yeah. Go ahead, get on ledge, and do neutral get up. Do neutral get up? Yep. Okay, now go ahead and shield. Oh. Go, go ahead and shield after neutral get up. Oh, okay. Okay, see how it comes out, frame one? So yeah. that off online, this will work. This, this will not work, right? Because... Online, uh, the shield can come up before they can do anything. Now, the odds that someone's going to be buffering shield before they input anything is pretty low. A lot of people will just do neutral get up and they'll try to they'll jump, they'll go into a different move. And so, so this time, go into any move or try to do anything after you neutral get up. All right. So if oh, you do wow. if you do anything other than shield, you get hit. Okay. So that's how this interaction works. Now. So shield is really the only thing that can. Um... Yes, but that's online. So offline, if you um, if you react to the back tilt, you'll actually just hit them. This will just hit. Uh, it, it's just that fast. Okay. So um, if they do shield, go ahead and shield. You can go into that. that so go ahead, go ahead and shield again. Do you should get up on the shield again? So, oh, so right. yeah, yeah, yeah. See how that works? So you can go into tsunami and hit their shield really, really hard, um, and basically force them into a situation where they're gonna put off stage again, right? And then you can just abuse them like this. Right. Um. So that's for new shook it up. So let me. Uh, what's your question, real quick? So this right here breaks shield, right? I'm assuming that's. Like oh yeah, a very yeah. Strong, no, no, this is a very strong move for breaking shield, uh, and your entire body is invincible. The entire body. Uh, none of you is hit. You, you cannot be hit in the middle of this move for like 20 frames. And then what move did you do right now where he uh... That's Tsunami. This is Tsunami Kick. Where you hit... You can hit them with both hits. So, after you... It, this is forward down. Forward down. Yep. Uh, and if you press A again, that's, that's when... If you just press A after, you get the second hit. Okay, so I that's really good. Go ahead, moved where he, uh, go ahead, go ahead and uh, go ahead and shield. So that's a shield break right there. 
is back air into tsunami. That's a that 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 is a that is a real shield. Man. You can also do that. Um, most people they will let go of shield right there. They'll try to do something out of shield, but they'll just get hit by the crash trap. And that's when you'll that's when you know if they're right here, that's when you can go into this and get them off the stage. And then you can start your less trap again. Okay, but you know you have double the damage of what they just did before. So uh, let's talk about some more stuff real quick. Let's talk about uh, neutral gear just one more time. Go to do neutral gear real quick. All right. Okay. Okay, so there's that. You can also react to it with electric. Alright, so that's really, really important. And go ahead and DI out. Okay, when I... That will just kill someone. Uh, at, you know, if they're from... 20 to probably 40, that will just that will just hit someone. Right here. And they'll die. Uh, and it'll tip for them. If they DI out. Now, if they DI in, you can still hit them with it. Uh, but the chances of it killing are a lot lower. But, you know, it's still used, right? So let's move on to uh, attack it up, okay? So go ahead and do attack it up. Okay, same move. Same move works again. But this move is better. So uh, you can, So what you can do is you can go into the attack it up range, go out of it just like I did just right there. I walked in and then got out. And then that gives you plenty of time to just hit this F-tilt, right? This 100% on reaction. Go ahead and try it on. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so what you want to do here, this is this is the sweet spot. Stand right there exactly where you are, a little bit more forward. You want to stand right in front of the roll. Okay, now stand still, don't move. Yep, right next, see, oh. where, see where you were? See how it did hit you? You want to stand right outside of that range. And that range is also, stand still again. Sweet little, in the little sweet spot. Right outside of it, don't move, yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as recovery forward, with Kazuya? Oh, okay. Right there, right there. Okay. See, this won't hit? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, back tilt also covers that? Yep, back tilt, back tilt will hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can also run up an electric them, but this this is just this is just good. This is just a good option to choose. Is F tilt. Because it sends at a bad angle, you can hit electric afterwards. And then you can use the less trap and you can go for a downer off stage or a fair off stage or a nair off stage or a B off stage or a back air off stage. You know, I, I shouldn't be good at me, right? Yeah. Alright, so uh, um, there's that for attack up. Uh, real quick, let's go into roll get up. So go ahead, go ahead and roll. So if you're standing, if you're, yeah, if you're standing in the sweet spot right outside of the attack get up range uh, and you're not afraid of getting hit. So go ahead and choose any of the three options. On reaction. 100% on reaction. Okay. Okay, that hit right there will cover uh, get up attack and neutral get up, right? Yep. yep, both of them. In that, in that one little spot. Roll. And if they roll, you can just wait and react and you can just grab. And then, and then you can back throw them, get them back off the stage. Is there anything for if they jump or that's just... Um... Oh yeah, we can go over that right now. Okay. All right. So if they jump, there's a couple things we can do, right? One, we're gonna talk about the preemptive uh, decision, right? So preemptive is, you know, bef uh, before you can see anything, you're just gonna throw this out before you actually react, and that is uh, electric. So a lot of people jump around the same time, and you can just hit them with an electric right here. Uh, and if they get hit right here with an electric, it's a very dangerous spot to be in, right? Because you can get hit by literally anything, especially this. Uh, you know, double drag down. Really dangerous. So that can cover attack it up. If they're doing it, you know, at the same time, you can just throw this out right here. Now, another thing you can do is uh, go ahead and go ahead and do a jump get up. So if you miss, you can go into a back tilt, um, and you can try to cover that jump too. And so you have the hitbox in that window, just like that. You see that? See how I just ran up and threw out that move? So, uh, so you can do that preemptively if you want to. But uh, what I do mostly uh, is some. I'll mix in that 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 electric sometimes if I know that they're gonna jump. Uh, but a lot of times I will just wait here. Go ahead, and, uh, go ahead and jump and try to get back to middle stage. Okay. From uh, from. Lunch. Oh, uh, at the left. Okay. 
Go and do it again. Hey. You died for jumping from which. Go ahead and jump one more time. Oh, that covers that too. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So up air is really, really, really big. Um, but just just do one jump. Just do one jump and don't double jump. Because a lot of people aren't going to spend their double jump because if they spend their double jump, then they get hit and they die, right? Because you get off stage. Right. So just do one jump and try to get over the This is where this comes to play really well. It's just this one plane on, on reaction. And then you can take it even further like this, right? You can do a lot of stuff to just keep uh, carrying on that one hit and push them further off the stage while they're, uh, you know, racking up damage. So that's really, really good. Sorry about that. Okay, so up B will cover the jump, yep. along with uh, uh, up, up air. air. Yep, up air is frame 4, so your up air is really good, especially for reacting to things. And then back kill covers neutral get up and get up attack, and grab is the roll in. Can you do demon gate or what, what is it? Um, Hell's gates for roll? Uh, yeah, 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 go, yeah, yeah that. 100% you can. Um, the thing is, let me show you real quick. So let me show you why this is the best thing to use when they roll past you. Go ahead and use it. Oh. Yep, you see that. So what happens is sometimes if you use it, it it'll go through them. So what you have to do hey, is if, if you if you know that they're going to roll, or if you're like pressuring right here and they roll, that's when you can go for it. But you have to be up close so that you have room to use the move. Um, otherwise, you're not going to win. So you have to be right here. So this is a specific scenario where if you're pressuring up here in the roll, that's when you can go for this, right? Does that make you sense? You kind of have to know they're going to roll, right? I mean, you can. You can sort of react like this. Here, go ahead, go ahead and do it. Right. You can, you can react to them rolling behind you, um, especially if you're like sort of expecting it. But otherwise, uh, this crouch shot is it, kind of like going to pressure them to do so, but they might just do attack it. So like right now, right here, it's a gamble. You're gambling right here if they're going to roll, dude, you should get up to attack that up. And you're gambling whether your, your crash up actually hits them. Because then they can jump, do an aerial, they can do a lot of stuff from the ledge. So being right here isn't the best position to be in. And that's why doing this, uh, doing Gates of Hell, isn't the best option some of the times uh, from right here. Okay. Well, people decide so, to just uh, like stay on ledge. Is there? Do they have like a two frame that? Um... Oh yeah. So this this right here hits every single character they can put put up. That will hit every oh, ledge. Yeah. yeah, that'll hit every ledge. Shape. Even like the best ones, like uh, Ganon, we fit. You know, the people that hang really really low. It'll hit all. Right. Of them. So this is even really good. Hanging there. Yeah. Even yeah. if they're just hanging there. Every, every okay. single person. So it's really, really, really good for that. Now go ahead and uh, go back on. If you time it correctly, you can do it as soon as their invincibility runs away, just like that. So if they wait even just a little bit too long, you can get hit, and it'll kill really well. And it puts them in a really bad spot, just like this. And then they have to like, you know, they have to get past. You can like laser them, they go far out, and then you know you can go for down smash as well. Here, go back on ledge real quick. If you space uh, down smash correctly. Yeah, if, if you, right. yeah, if you land your fist at the ledge, uh, if you space it correctly, it'll send them down. It doesn't hit everyone, but it hits a majority of people. So this doesn't work on all the cats, but on the majority of the cats it does. Yeah, but this works on all of the characters, okay? So that's why this is so good. Now, the, so only downside the, of this, to... the only downside of this is that it's a little bit laggy. But another plus side of this is that it also pancakes stuff. So go ahead and throw out an electric. After I down her. Yeah, it, it simply will not hit. Uh, go ahead and shield it and then throw out an electric. Yeah, so if you if someone shields it, um, you're still stuck in the get up animation. So by the time they're done shielding, uh, their, their hit stun is done, uh, you're actually going to get hit. So if someone does shield that, then they can hit you out of it, but a lot of the times, if it misses, you'll just pancake whatever the move they try to hit you with. And this move actually works really well at pancaking and stuff. You'd be, you'd be really surprised. Uh, it goes right over grab as well. Almost every grab. In the game. So that's that's one really good option as well. 
Um, uh, let's, let's that right up. there is... I was gonna say, um... Do you have a way of, uh, continuing combos if you land on a platform? Uh, continue, uh, combos on platform? Yeah, like, oh, if yeah. you land the electric under a platform, you know how, obviously they're gonna go over the platform. Um, how do you continue a combo after that? Uh, do you know about the FURP sec? No, I do not. Okay, I, I will send you a video about that. Um, for that specifically, because it's very, very, very good. And it is very important for his combo game. Okay, but that is something that you'll probably want to learn uh, from a video, just because it's going to take a lot of time, and I don't want to uh, take too much time learning one thing in this session. Okay. Right, oh, okay. Yep. All right, but uh, I can give you the gist of it. So on, on the platform, you basically run, turn around, jump, cancel your double jump with an aerial, and then you go straight into a crouch, and then from there you play reaction base. And you can demon god fist them if they roll, you can side beat them if they roll out, you can, if they miss attack, you can crouch stab them, and if they do neutral get up, you can crouch stab them, you can electric them. Uh, it basically opens up a lot of, a lot of new combo routes that you can take of advantage of. Uh, and it can kill very, very early. You can also combo them on the platform. You can drag down there then, as well, into another electric, into like an up smash or not, which is really cool. Right. Um, when you crouch on the platform, he doesn't go under it. Like he doesn't um, crouch on the platform. If you use an aerial and you land after the aerial on the platform and you're still holding down, he will not get you. He will go straight into a crouch instead. Oh, okay. Yep. So that's that's really really good. Uh, let's talk about getting off the ledge real quick because that I saw that a couple times. Let's talk about some good options, especially some online options. Are you mainly an online player? No, so uh, I'm trying to use Kazuya. Uh, Interny, I kind of go from like Terry to Kazuya more or less. Uh, a lot of the shows, but I guess one of the reasons why I um, well, why my Kazuya isn't really good is because of the uh, electric. I want to say I can't really land it. Consistently. Okay. And um, well, when I go to locals, a lot of people there usually play like Samus or Lucas or you know characters that like keep you awake. And I don't really know how to um, approach. I guess you say. All right, so let's talk about getting off the ledge, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go on the ledge, and I want you to try and hit me, okay? So go ahead and use some of the options that I talked about, and try and react to me, and try to stop me from getting back to center stage, okay? Okay. All right. All right, that one. Okay. Alright, let's try again. Um, okay. When they jump is when you up B, right? You can up B the... Alright, one more time, one more time. You ready? Alright. Okay. So, have you... Do you see how every time I'm basically getting up here for free? Yeah. Now. Uh, there's there's a good thing and a bad thing about this. One, you're putting yourself in the air, right? And it's hard. Sometimes it's really hard to land. But two, you're getting off of the ledge and you can get center stage, and you can make it so that if they hit you. You're getting hit from center stage instead of getting hit from the ledge. So that is one good thing. But if you can land properly like this, and you can like down B while you're landing, then you basically get to land for free, and then you get to center stage. And holding center stage with Kazi is the most important thing you can do. Okay, it's the most important thing. It, it is so important to hold center stage as Kazuya. It's just, it's it's like one of his most important things in neutral. This is just be center stage. If you don't want to be in disadvantage, you never want to be in disadvantage. All right, and you don't want to be in the corner. You want to just hold right here. And if someone comes back, you, know, you just you just do whatever, just like this. All right, so that that is one option: is up being and then using your landings like this. Uh, and if they get too close like that, you can actually hit them with the up. And then sometimes you can start a combo from them. Okay. So that's one option. Another option is we have this right here. Right? Uh, come, so go ahead, go ahead and stand uh, right here. Yes, yeah, stand right there. So if they're standing close, this option right here is almost unreactable, especially online. Go ahead and shield when you see me moving. Here, actually stand right here. When you see 
me go for side B shield. Go ahead and try again. Yep, there you go. You can get it out. Uh, now go ahead and shield it again. Oh, at that point you react to it, right? Okay, so yeah, so the the point I'm making here is side B from ledge. You use that as a conditioning tool. Right. If you side B from ledge once, they're going to expect you to side B from ledge again, right? And they don't you, you, they don't want to get hit by it because they're gonna die, right? So when you're doing a get up option from ledge, if you have noticed that they're starting to shield because they're scared that you're gonna side B, that's what you do. Neutral get up and negates a fell and just get them off the stage and a nice little reversal. Okay? So basically you're conditioning them to shields to think that you're going to jump side B and then you can just reversal them with get up gates of fell like this. So not only did you do 30, but you also got him off the stage and in, into a bad situation. And put him at disadvantage and you took back stage. So, so, you know, it's like a 3 and one Okay, uh, you have to go, what was it, uh, you let go of ledge, obviously. Hold on. You let go, you jump a little bit, and then you side B? Nope, nope, so you just jump side B. Just immediately jump side B. So, jump side B. Oh, man, this whole time I thought, I thought people press right, you know, to get off the list. Uh, you, you can. You, uh, sometimes rules will do this just to mix up the timing. Just like that. Um, it'll also go further if you go down, like this. Uh, and if you land it properly, like this, it'll actually go a little bit further compared to this right here. Just normal jump. It'll go just a tiny little bit further and give you a little more distance. Uh, but other than that, there's not too many perks of going down. And when you go down, you're making it very obvious that, you know, now you get hit, right? So it's going to be very dangerous to, to drop down. Uh, you know, I do it a lot. <laughs> I do drag down, or I do drop down up here just like this. Go ahead and stand, stand, uh, stand above me. I do this all the time. Just to get people off me. So that's that's one thing. But yeah, so like I said before, the side B, uh, go ahead and use it. Okay, now I'm scared, so go ahead and use it again. Now that I won't, when I see movement, I'm gonna go ahead and shield. Right? Oh, hold on. Sorry. Let me just actually react to it. So now I'm scared, so you can just do neutral get up and the gates of hell. Neutral get up and shield. Yep. Oh, okay. see, see how, so once I expect that move, you have the option to do that, right? Uh, you also have the option to just grab them if they're at like zero. Uh, but a lot of the times doing Gates of Hell to get them off stage is like the best option. Because it's like one of his most broken moves. Probably his top three moves. It was electric, like crouch jab and Gates of Hell. Probably top three. Moves. Very, very um, good. Moves. That back that you did right there, how did you throw it out uh, instantly like that? Oh, uh, standing still back there? Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, yeah. bar back there. Okay, so like, uh, what you do is you run forward, you hold forward, and right after you hold forward, you flick back on the stick, and then you jump. So it should look like this. Basically, you should look like you're just jumping backwards. Yep, just like that. Right? So you start off simple, we learn how to jump backwards like this. And then once you can jump backwards, that's when you can just throw out the area, right? But you have to get this first. Okay, so run forward, get there, then, just um, like that, just like that. Yep, just forward, like that. forward, and then leg back, and then keep jump. Uh, and take it slower at first, go like this, run, face this way, and then jump. So just run, face this way, and then jump. Run Yep, just like that. There you go. Yeah, so that'll make it really easy to learn. That's RAR. That's called RAR. That's what we call it. Okay, I, 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 I kind of know how to do it with Roy, but I use a shoulder jump button with... Because um, you know how with, with Roy you jab to... Yep, jab jab back there. Really, really good. Yeah. Yep. Same idea. Same exact idea. <laughs> If you go against the in the mirror match, is there a way to DI that? Oh uh... Uh, no, like you can DI it, but uh, as long as I'm doing it properly, you're just not going to get out. It, it, it works even better on heavies just because they're so big that like the Nair is almost always going to drag them down and hit them. 
Uh, and then the electrics basically free after that. So heavies are really, really, really easy to kill with uh, nerves. How do you get the down kill without buffering the... Uh... Oh, wait. Or do you have to wait a little bit and then... Without buffering what? Because usually this comes out right here. If I try to uh, crouch cancel into the, uh, or dash cancel into down to or into this right here. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to cancel the crouch dash, okay? Um, and how to cancel it is, after you crouch dash immediately, uh, right after you cancel it, you let go of your analog stick, and then you press down and back. Oh. So, so uh, go ahead and crouch dash, and then immediately after, Press down and back, and you'll stop in the middle of your crouch dash, and you'll just go into a crouch. Okay, down and back, right? After the... Yeah, make sure you let go of both of the sticks, and then flick down and back really fast. And just, and just hold it. Okay, there you go, perfect. Hey, you're a fast loader, that's really good. That is crazy, I had no idea you could do that. That's... Yeah, that's what I'm here for. I was, I, was, I was wondering, I was like, how is he hitting the... Um... Yeah. There's actually an infinite with this right brain kind of trying to uh, break the screen in turn. Oh, sorry. Is it the, uh... Are you seeing it? Yeah, this is an infinite, if, if I do it fast. Um, I've practiced it offline quite a bit, but I haven't really got it to that level yet. Um, it's kind of, it's almost impossible to do as a human, but, or with a GameCube controller. Uh, but I think it's possible, and I think I've been getting close uh, to getting it, especially offline. Uh, but it's, it's very, it's very, very fast time. Very fast time. You're doing it crazy fast. The, um, it's like you slide forward a little bit, kind of like you're, you're wave dashing across the. Um... Yeah, I got to do a little that bit faster. That is crazy. Than, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's 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 very fast. Uh, but once you get it. Uh, if you once you get that down really well, this is a deadly thing to have right here. This is deadly. It looks like it because it looks like you can throw out whatever you want after. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the thing is, you, the thing is, yeah, you can throw out anything you want. Uh, you you can literally go all the way across the stage like this, and you just do that. To like, there is a lot of options you have for canceling the crash dash, and that's why it's so good. If you have that to do from the crash dash, it's like you, you can cancel it and do any move that you want. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, so with crouch dashing, the way I'm doing it is that I'm flicking the analog stick forward and then the C stick down. Is that how you're doing it too, or...? Um... Sorry, say that again? So, the way that I'm usually, uh... Watch, here, watch, yeah. Let me, let me show you real quick. I think it's better if I show you, uh, in-game. <laughs> okay, okay. Three, two, one! Okay, so the way that I'm doing this right here... Oh my god, hold on. Uh, this... My bad, I don't know why it's not. This one. That is that, um... Yeah, that is... I'll hit the analog stick forward and the C stick down. Yep, that's the way you want to do it. That's the yeah, way you right? want to... Okay. That, yep, that's the way you want to master it, 100%. So it's good that you're learning that okay. now. Because that's very, very... That, that's the way you want to, to learn to crash dash. Uh, you can do it like this, uh, with the just normal method, but it, it's not even moderately close to as fast as it, it could be uh, with right. with it with the C stick. Uh, you have to be you know, like you have to be like Tekken level to be able to actually crash dash this fast without using the C stick. Because I think you can you can do it with analog stick. Uh, especially if you're like from tech and you have that crash dash ingrained in you, like on how it works. Because it works in the same with tech and, uh with just the normal analog stick. But since we have the, the C stick to, to do our work for us, we can just crash dash all over the place. Cancel the. You said you set the stick to neutral, right? And then you hit down back? Uh, yeah. Yep, reset both the sticks in neutral and then press down back. Just like that. Right now you're doing it, but you're uh, you're pressing down. Yeah, right now you're, you're, you're right now you're letting go, uh, and you're not pressing down back all the way. Okay. 
Yeah, because that looks crazy. That... Oh, wait, I think I did. Okay, yeah, that's something I definitely got to put more um, more practice doing. Too. And then that's how you get the down tilt, right? I'm assuming, straight out of that. That's how you get what? Your, your uh, down tilt? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, crouch ups, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go, yeah, the crouch ups. I don't know why you're calling it the down tilt, does it? I mean, it's basically down tilt. Almost. That's so crazy because I haven't seen anybody talk about that in a video or anything. To, uh, or I guess I have. I, I don't. I, I probably haven't been looking right, but. Oh yeah, there aren't. A, you know, there aren't a lot of guides for Kazuya. That's why I, I, I have. I have a lot of guides, and I'm gonna make. Be, uh, making a lot more is because there's not a lot of stuff covering the content that you know the important stuff that this character has. Yeah, like you would a lot of it. A lot of it is just you know like how to combo, how to electric, but well, there isn't like how to cancel your crouch dash to the down back so that you can have a deadly, a deadly tool in your tool. You know. Yeah. How, how do you know when you get the uh, the crouch cancel? I'm assuming he does that little sliding animation, right? Yep, just like this. If you see him go into a crouch dash, and then you see that your crouch dash stops midway, then the, you know you did it. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm doing it way too. Or I think I'm overthinking it. Uh, one way you can one way you can get better at it is to go like this, crouch dash, and then pull back. Oh, I mean... The crouch dash, and then hold straight back. Yep, just like that. And if you look at me, if you oh, do it fast yeah, enough, yeah, you'll right. get you'll get this right here. here look, look at this. Uh, look at this. Yeah. Oh wait, so, yeah, yeah. I do it to me. I do it to me. Yep. How long did it take you to? Uh, well, yeah, to get this good with Javier. That's uh, I, basically, I just spent a lot of time in training and just a lot of time moving off of friendlies just to like really get a lot of the stuff down. Uh, because a lot of the times, you know, when you're playing friendlies, you don't always have to go for the win, right? You go for like getting better at you know, this, your, your own mechanics and stuff like that. Yeah. And so that's that's one really good way to get good at stuff is to take the time in training group to get good at stuff and then uh, look at dedicated time in friendlies to you know not like be sweating for the win but more of just going for you know just practicing stuff like that you know what i mean right do you go to locals or anything uh, i go to wins i have been to i think two locals this this season i or three maybe just three it might have been two i haven't been to a lot of locals this this year this year yet just because i'm busy with like youtube medify being a student all that jazz uh just right. balancing it all in between um do you but do but, you play really good at the local uh the last local i went to i beat the second in the state i think second in the state. i beat him 2-1 i don't know but that was that was a really good win for me personally uh but i have Wait, a lot of you? yeah but i have a lot of better wins like online I have videos on those as well. I have, I have wins on like uh, a lot of you know, better players. Yeah, because that's. Okay, so right, right there when you shielded it, I'm assuming I didn't do it fast enough, right? Uh, when, I, when I shielded what? Electric? The, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so basically you need to start buffering the electric when you're in the air as you're falling. Oh, okay. So as you pass on air, you buffer it. Just like this. Because since this game has a buffer system, we have a lot of leniency. Those are electrics, and so we can buffer the electric while we're in another room, just like this. So it comes out on the frame that it can. Because this is coming out frame for frame. Right? I cannot do this faster. It is physically impossible to do electric any faster than I am right now. Yep, since it's buffered, it's coming out when it can come out, which is the frame that it can come out. So basically, there is. It's impossible, even if like a computer did it faster. Like, it, you cannot do this electric faster than this, as if you were buffering it and fast falling it at the same time. So basically, you can just practice this. Yeah, you, you can just sit here and practice this. 
You don't even have to like practice it with like electric, you can practice it with, uh, with Godfist, just like this. I can't even do it with Godfist. There we go. The, what can I say, the electric, I'm assuming you're doing it the, uh... Cause, okay, the way I throw it out is that I'll do forward, down, cause okay, it's usually forward, down, and then down, forward, A at the same time, right? Um... For the electric? It's, it's... So it's forward, down, and then yeah, down, forward. And the way that I do it, the way that I do electric, uh, the way that I got good at it really, really well, uh, and fast as well, is I would do it, you know, I would go into it, I would go forward, down. What I would do is I would imagine myself pressing A when I go down. So I'm not pressing A when I go to the corner, I'm pressing A when I go down. And then I go to the corner. So, so what I do, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I go into electric so, uh, with forward. Yeah. I press A when I'm down, and then I move into the quarter, and I basically get it every time. Right. So, uh, um, and I do the exact same thing. Tekken buffered, right? Yeah. Um, this is how I got good at it. Like, I, I was literally playing Tekken earlier for, for like the first time, and the way that I found to do electric best, you know, frame perfectly, would just be uh, pressing attack when I am facing or when my stick is on down and then I would just move my stick forward uh, basically if I do it correctly I can by the time that my stick is moving forward and the time that I'm pressing A my stick's in the corner and then I can uh, I can get electric basically every time and this this was literally like playing an hour or taking for like an hour I was able to get electric so moderately consistent Alright, so uh, here, go ahead and try it out, see if see if that works for you. Uh, so the electric, the way I do it, I think it's the same way that you're doing it. I usually just do down A, and then I hit the corner. Alright, see how many you can get in a row but using that method. How are you doing? <laughs> that is crazy, man. Did you even get the dash after the um the electric, or yours comes out instant? That is crazy, that is. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. Um, and especially online, you can buffer it a lot. It's so, like when you're in when you're in one electric, you can buffer the second electric, just like that. So you can literally hit someone twice with electric. Yeah, that is. You're literally letting double electric in one drink. Yeah, it's it's very very good. Uh, so yeah, this method this mess method will help you get it basically every time. So and you're getting it very consistently already. So. Um, just keep doing that method, and you you'll, you'll you're go you're golden basically. You're in a great spot. It, the fact that you're already getting electric consistently is really good, um, and so you can start focusing on more of the combo routes, uh, crouch dash canceling, and stuff like that. You know, continue your edge guarding, ledge trapping, all that jazz. Uh, but yeah. I'm asking, are you playing on GameCube controller or on? Um... Yep, GameCube controller. Okay. <laughs> And uh, let me show you a few more. Okay, do you have any questions though, real quick? No, 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 no. Okay, let me show you one thing. Um, go ahead and roll from ledge again. Okay, hold on. You can also do that. So, this will catch rolls uh, really well. Uh, you can also use crouch dash before to catch the roll. Go ahead and roll for me. Here, let me give okay, me Godfist uh, here, and then and then roll for me. Okay. So on reaction, you can just go like this. If you see them rolling, once you see them like cross your body, just let go and press A. Even if like they mix up the timing, as long as you see it. That is crazy. All right. Um... Yep. And then you can end it with like that move right there and just kill them because that move that move has a fast start up. so yeah yeah that's that's really really good so you can catch the rolls with that and sometimes if you're like just sitting in front of someone's shield uh, a lot of the times they'll just roll out you know or do something out of shield but uh, 
that's just something you can you can have in your arsenal just so that you have that knowledge you know eventually you can use that knowledge later right okay uh, um In the going to game one more time real quick just so I can see the um just so I don't forget the moves and all that stuff. Three, two, okay. One, go! You said um Okay the first thing you talked about was this right here, right? Yep. <laughs> And then for the shield breaker move is that okay yeah down down for so this be crouching. uh down for this is a good uh shield break move but this is the better one right here oh yeah okay and that one is um that's tsunami tsunami kick uh so how do you do so there's there's good and bad about this one one this this move is good and neutral uh another good uh, good thing about this move is the fact that it has long reach uh, it, it hits low, so it'll hit Squirtle if Squirtle's right in front of you. Uh, it also hits high, and it hits medium, so it hits it hits everywhere, right? It has, it's a it's a long hitbox, and your leg's invincible for a little bit of it, uh, and it combos into a leg. Okay, right. yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Is it, is it good? Because usually sometimes what I'll do online is I'll hit him with um, uh sprint move. It's kind of hard, but I'll hit him with uh, this right here, and Sat that, Satchel and then I'll. Shit. Yep. And that isn't true on every character, but it's true in a lot of them. But I'm assuming the preferred method is to, uh... Because the crouch jabs are looking pretty consistent. Oh yeah, crouch jabs very consistent. Crouch jabs so good. That's why I, I think this is one of his top three moves. Eventually, like, you know, using crouch jab, you literally get combos like that. And it will be so free. Uh, combos like that are free, you know, with like experience and stuff like that, and you know, basically hitting electric every time. If you hit electric every time after those combos, you're gonna get a free stock. That is okay. So I'm assuming at the beginning of the match, uh, to close distances, that's when you wanna uh, dash cancel, right? And uh, then when you, you get you close can, enough, you can. No, you don't have to. Now I open matches up if it's a long stage with laser a lot. I'll just jump laser. Okay. Um, I'm assuming the like playing aggro characters is preferred, right? Like if you're gonna play against the Roy, that's kind of what you prefer versus playing a Samus, right? Someone that has to keep you awake. Oh yeah, if you if you play a Roy, you're in a great position. I don't know if you've ever seen Cola and uh, Riddles play, but Riddles I think has won almost every single set against Cola just because he plays Kazuya and he will whip out the Kazuya right. every time. Same thing with beating Leo. You know how uh, Riddles beat Leo. Yeah. Yeah, he, he beat Leo literally because Leo chose Pirate Mithra, did not run away, and he has to get in to get his damage, and that's when Kazi gets selected and stuff like that. So Kazi Kazi really thrives for that. Okay. Um Yeah, okay, because the people here at my locals usually uh I think like the top two best players by now is what, like a little Mac and a Roy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So um, okay, but when it comes to characters like Samus and all that stuff, I'm assuming that's when you wanna, um, you said open up with laser, right? Uh, you can open up with laser, but a lot of the times you just wanna thread your reflect move. Uh, like, you, one of the first moves you want to do is just have that reflect move there so that it's in their mind, so that they're, they are aware that you are capable and reflect. are knowledgeable of using that move, yes, and so that it's in their mental, so that they are all, a little bit more scared to use their projectiles now they're still going to use them but it puts it in their brain that like okay this is an option that i have to be scared of right because you have to threaten that you have that option because that option is a kill option right okay um all right all right, all right. that's crazy man I, I learned a lot more today than i did ever playing i think like the past plus couple months <laughs> i've been playing <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 that's what i'm here for man that's why uh that's why I'm on the I'm on Metafire just to, just to teach everyone everything that I know. So let, let's play some let's play some games to close it up, and just you can ask me a few questions in these games, and then we'll just uh, review and uh, we'll close it out. All right. All right, sounds good. All right. We'll do like a best of three. Is that cool? 
Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Three, two, I'm not the best, so. One, <laughs> you know. See how like you're in that corner and I just I'm just applying all of this pressure. Yeah. 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 So once you're in the corner against Kazuya, you better be scared. But if you are the Kazuya, you better be mashing moves, right? Because a lot of your moves have big hitboxes that are, are going to like box someone out really well, especially when they're in the corner, so that they can't get back to stage. That is crazy. I, I've never been humbled by a. By a cosplay like that, so no, you literally cannot do anything if you get hit by the young. Nice. See, now I'm scared to use it. You know, now I'm scared to sit there. Wow, okay. But so just that was like, like there, um, you threw it out instantly. Did you do the crush shot? Just um. Wins. Yep, crush shot. I crush shot, and so once I hit you with the crush shot, you were dead because it's a true combo. So if you get hit with crush shot at a high percent against Akaze, you are going to die. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because he can confirm every single move that he has in his kit. Well, almost every single move. Out of crush shot. Like, even up smash. I'm pretty sure there's a way to up smash. I think you can crush jab, uh, and then and then crush dash cancel into up smash. Um, and even that will work. But there's no really point to doing that, because you can just get you know, any of your other moves. Like electric. Uh, I think in the next, if we do another one, we can go over how to do the option select so that you basically get the drag down there every time. Because if you've noticed, I did almost every single drag down there on you. And there's, there's a way to do it without having to like look at the DI and stuff like that. We can go over that if you want. Okay. You literally cannot do anything once you get hit by the um... Nice. Ah, yes, good shit. Back air is always true after electric, and it's a great kill move. So just keep that in mind as well. Okay. Alright, so uh, what I'll do is, once I'm back in my room, I will write everything that we talked about, and I'll put it all in the, the chat. And I'll also upload this to YouTube so you can look back on this, and so that you can remember everything, because we went over quite a bit. Alright? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, great. Um... Okay, that sounds good. Uh, the, as far as the video getting uploaded on YouTube, around when do you think... Not to like put pressure on anything, right? <laughs> but, uh... When do you think you'll be able to upload it? Uh, within the next hour. Oh, okay, sounds good. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. And, um, you're... Hold on. Is it part on YouTube also? Yep. I can, uh, I'll just link it to you. It's Cause I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you some videos so you can, uh, check those out. I have a couple guys that you can, uh, you can watch and learn from. Me. Okay, yeah, please. Uh, as far as next time, as far as, like, if I want to schedule a lesson again for next time, do I just message you on, uh, Discord first, and then go ahead No, you can just schedule the, uh, it. Payment? You, can just, you can just schedule it, and, um, if I have the time for it at the time that you chose, I will just accept it. And if I don't, I'll just reschedule it to the time that I can, and then we can just do it that, then, okay? Okay, sounds good. Alright. Awesome. Alright. Thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Of course, man. Alright, you have a great night. Thanks,